we are going to um, add objects to collect and make those objects uh, disappear when we collect them and also make them um, add a point to our counter or take a point away from our counter. So um, one thing we need to do with our character is um, in the last video we put in a capsule collider and actually what we really needed was a character controller um, because the script that we're going to use is um, uh, a controller collider hit. So we're just going to remove this capsule collider. We'll be putting colliders on the objects that we're going to collect and then we're going to add a component called um, character controller. So there's the character controller and you can see in our scene view that this is um, that the measurements aren't quite what we would like so I think if we make it a Y1 um, and if we make this a 0.25, be more precise. Okay, so there we go. So now we have our character, and the character has a character controller. So we are next going to work on importing um, our objects that we're going to use. So you could just use a sphere, whatever color the thing. Um, but I'm really enjoying using the asset store to find assets that other people have made and are giving away for free. So if you go to the asset store, you can find stuff. Um, I found food and grocery and I found oil cans. And so I'm going to use those in my um, uh, scene. So you can just go ahead and in the asset store do your search up at the top. Um, and so I searched for vegetables. And then uh, make sure you go free only unless you want to pay, which is good. Pay the artists. Uh, and I chose this food and grocery because it had a smiley face, but um, you can choose whatever you want. You don't even need to use vegetables. Um, okay, so then once you get your stuff imported, the everything will appear in your um, project panel. So uh, we have, let's just go back to scene here. And um, the next thing that we want to do is we want to add the assets into our scene. And we're going to be making, turning our assets into prefabs so that we can add multiple copies of them and they'll have the same qualities. So I'm going to start with the food and grocery. Um, and I'm going to start with, uh, when you go in, to your downloaded folder, sometimes it's hard to tell which folder has the actual objects that you want to use. Um, this one comes with an example scene, which I haven't checked out, but I bet it's pretty cool. And it also has the items, and these are what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the items for my character to collect. Um, and I love avocados, uh, particularly, so I'm going to choose avocados. And it would be an object that would look like this, kind of with a blue box. So I'm going to click that avocado and drag it into my scene. Now, when I look at this avocado, it's actually quite tiny uh, compared to my character. So I'm going to change the scale to 5. And to me, I think that looks like a good size. It's actually quite large, really, for an avocado. But that's okay, giant avocados. Um, and I'm going to move it forward a little bit. And you can see that this avocado is currently in lane 3, or no, lane minus 1, um, which should be fine. Um, and it fits just within that lane. So when Kyle's in lanes, um, you don't want him, you don't necessarily want to place objects that he would hit whether he were in minus one or zero. You probably want it to only take up one lane. Um, now, another thing, and I forgot to undo this work I did. I've got, I have added these add point and lose point tags. So tagging uh, is really handy for using uh, in your script because you can tag an object and then you can use that tag in your script. Um, so what you do, there are some default tags, these ones right here, um, but you can click on add tag and um, like let's just uh, say that I hadn't added in add point yet so I'm going to take that, oh I can't take it away. No there are, this will be okay, remove from this list next time, that's okay, alright I'm okay with that. So now once you get into this tag window you get dropped from your object so I'm going to go back to avocado. So now, now we have the avocado, and I want to make a tag for the avocado called add point. Well, if I click here, add point doesn't exist. So I'm going to make a new tag, and I'm going to call it add point. So I say add point, and then I click on the plus sign, and then I say add point. 
and you just want to make sure that you're consistent on your spelling and your capitalization. I once did this and I called it add points in the tag, but in the code I called it add point and then it didn't work and I was lost and confused. So anyway, we've got the add point and lose point as the add tags. So I'm going to go back to my avocado, I'm going to click on tag, and I'm going to give it the add point tag. So now my avocado has the add point tag. The next thing we need to do to this avocado is we need to give it the capsule collider. So um, the capsule collider is going to be the thing that tells the um, program, the game, that the Kyle with his character controller has hit the capsule collider of the avocado. So I'm attaching a capsule collider to the avocado and this is really lovely that the capsule collider fits nicely. I have seen um, as imported assets where the collider, when you add it for some reason, is gigantic and it's messy and I don't understand why. So if you have an object that's not working well, maybe just try getting a different object or play around with it until you figure it out. Okay, so there's, we now have, we've added, we, we downloaded an object we put it into our scene, we selected the object, we added a capsule collider, and we added a tag for add point. So now this object is working for us. Okay, so we have our avocado, and our avocado has its capsule collider, and the two of them exist in the same space. Now I'm going to add an oil can collider. I'm going to put in oil can 1 and I'm going to add a component, capsule collider, and it's added into the oil can. And I notice, I can see there that the collider is a little bit low. So for Y, because I know Y is uh, height in this world, I'm gonna say 0.5, uh, and that moved it up a little bit. Um, and I'm going to say 0.7, and that moved it up a little bit more. And I'm thinking that's high enough for my characters. So now I have a gas can, an oil can. Um, actually, that oil can is a bit big, though, isn't it? Um, it looks like it's taking up two lanes. So, yeah, I'm going to just scale it down a little bit um, in the scale, and I'm going to try 0.5, 0.5. And that looks okay to me. And then I'm just going to put it within that lane there. Okay, so now we have two objects, um, and the oil can I'm going to tag as um, lose point. Okay, and so now I've got an avocado with add point tag, and I've got an oil can with a lose point tag. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a script. And that script is going to be attached to the character. And it's going to tell um, the character that it's adding or losing points. And it's going to make the objects disappear. So I'm going to, in the project panel, say create C sharp script. And I'm going to call this pick up script. OK, and then I'm going to edit it. I double click and open it and it's going to open in mono develop. So um, I, this is the default script that comes and I am now going to paste the script that I already put on my clipboard. So um, here we call our libraries that we're going to be using. Um, here is the name of the script. This has to match exactly this. Uh, we're creating the integer coin counter, which we're going to use a little bit later. Um, and it could be called anything. Coin counter is probably not the best. It should be called maybe point counter, um, point coin counter right now. Um, and then in the update section, we're going to do a on controller collider hit. So this is the, when the character controller hits the capsule collider. Okay. Um, and so controller collider hit, hit. So we're just naming this. So if the hit happens with a, to a game object, which our avocado and gas can are, 
and the tag on that object is add point. Um, notice I kept my capitals the same. Um, destroy the hit game object, which will be this one, and add a point to the coin counter. And then we have an else if hit game object compare tag lose point, destroy hit game object coin counter minus minus. So that is our script for that. So I'm going to command S. And um, now uh, our character does not yet have this script attached. So if we go to our character and we can see that um, we've got character movement, character controller, and the animator, but we need to add this pickup script. So I'm clicking on the pickup script. And it dropped. So we now have a pickup script on our character, and we're going to see, oops, geez, don't do anything, Chelsea. Okay, now we're going to click play. Okay, uh, my computer, okay, it worked, all right, so, um, and your computer shouldn't be this laggy. Uh, okay, so. Um, our script is working to make these objects disappear. So now we know we've got the pickup script, we've got our objects. Now, um, the next thing to do is these objects are currently independent objects, but we want to turn them into prefabs. Because uh, if you click on Avocado here, um, you can see we've got the capsule collider. And if we go back to our food folder, and click on our avocado. You'll notice that it doesn't have the qualities that we've attached to it. So we have made, modified this special avocado to be the way we want it. So we actually want to turn this into our own prefab, so outside of the food and grocery download. So we're going to create a folder for prefabs, which is really handy. So we're going to create folder in the project panel. Oops. That's not in the project panel. Hang on. Thanks a lot. Well, we'll see if we can. Let me just command do that. Um, let me see if I can just make sure that I'm not in that folder. And let's create again. Folder. Yes. Okay, so you want it in the root directory, not inside the food and grocery asset. So the new folder is going to be called prefabs. And we're going to put any prefabs we make during this game into this folder. So we're going to drag avocado. And oil can into prefabs. So these two right here are prefabs, and these two are instances of the prefab. So um, we can, uh, just to be tidy, we can create a folder over here. So we go create empty, um, and we can call this one oil cans oil cans, because we're going to add a bunch of cans and we don't want a big long list. Um, and we can make another empty, create empty, and we can call this one avocados. Avocados. Okay. And so now I can drag this avocado in there. And I can drag this oil can in there. And it'll just help keep things tidier because we can close these folders up. Okay, and then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to actually decorate my scene a little bit. And I want to um, I want to put in a bunch of these. So um, all along the panel here. So uh, let's see. I am going to click. And I'm going to click on avocado, and I'm going to add an avocado here. Boy. I'm going to add an avocado. Yes, OK. And you can see the avocado has the capsule collider as we want it to. Um, and then I'm going to add an oil can. And um, we can. 
you can play more with this. So now I've got the a couple oil cans and um, some avocados, and you can organize that any way you like. But as you add in the more oil cans and avocados, just drop them into the folder that we created um, to organize them, and that way our uh, our hierarchy doesn't get too messy. So now we're just going to go ahead and test that. Um, all of your objects should have their capsule collider, um, and we'll just go ahead and play. And oh, okay. So I hit an avocado, it all happened so quickly. So that works. Um, so we now have our platform with objects that uh, when Kyle goes over it, he uh, makes them disappear and he's also adding and losing points. And in the next video, we will create a canvas to record score as uh, Kyle runs through the platform.